today I'm doing static server service, the three S's. Um, it's pretty easy service, uh, I hope. I hope it runs really simply, but we shall see um, in the testing. Um, let's see what it does. It takes a folder that you have locally and serves it as static files, which is really useful if you have a static server that you want to start every time that you run your test. Um, Normally, these static servers are server. These static servers are going to be something like a style guide or an example site. So I've got this sample site right here. It's just got a basic HTML file and a products page file. And right now, what I'm having people do on my course is um, run npm start and using the HTTP server, um, serving that up on port 8303. And I basically want to replace this with the, the static server service um, to make it easier for things to work. Whew, I don't know if I was prepared to do a live stream today. I'm just kind of discombobulated. I'll just copy this whole thing. Boop. And let that install. I'm going to add the server there. I'm going to go with um, static server server. And um, I need to pass in some options over here. And I'm also going to have to set the static server port because the default is 4567. And all the tests that I've written are based off of that um, 8303. So I'm going to go with 8303 there. So let's copy this over. OK, I want to mount the sample site. And then the path is just going to be right at the root. And I will get rid of that. Don't need that. And then the last thing I need is the static server port, which will go here. And it's just a number. So 8303. Um, static server log, don't really care about that. That's just going to be a thing. That should be all it takes to get the static server running. So if I run npm test, uh, in theory, it's going to allow me to test that page. npm test dash 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 spec equals test slash okay so now it's serving the folder cannot get slash how about index.html can't get it stack server running there so it's not that simple mount sample site um i wonder if i got that backwards url endpoint where the folder will be mounted path to the folder okay i got those backwards so I want to mount it to the main, and then the path to my site is dot slash sample site. Um, looks like it logged the stuff out for us. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be an object or not. I can't remember what I had that out as. But if I go back here, the server's down. OK, that's the static server service. Um, that's basically it. You just uh, install the server. You define where you want uh, the path to go to or the mount to go to on your website, and then the path you want to use for your local folder. So here I had sample site, and if I open that back up, you can see I have sample site right here. And then I just changed the port because um, that was a configuration that I had. So I was just going to look at the source code of this. What do they use? What do they use? They use Express. So they probably just use the Express static server to make it run. And this is actually a really nice one if you ever want to write a service for WebDriver IO. You can see there's these different, um, it's a good example, probably because it's pretty simple. Yeah, on prepare, it's a callback and it takes some parameters, some configurations. These are the defaults for them and then they can get overridden. Logging information, check to see if the folder is an array. So if you have multiple folders, um, then it will allow you to do that, which is pretty neat. Um, and then it uses this middleware, which is part of Express. Let's see, where's middleware? Ah, static server middleware. So by default, it sets it to just an array, um, but you could pass in other middleware if you want. If you do that with um, with Express, if you're familiar with Express and all that, you can get that sign, uh, sent in. And then you do uh, this.server.listen, which this.server is an Express server. This is the, the line that's really important. This is what sets everything up. This is where it's going to serve to. And then this is the content that it's going to statically serve. So that's that. Um, that is the static server service. And yeah, it's a pretty simple little service that 
makes it easier for running um, static servers when you start your, your site up. If you have any ideas of what to cover on a upcoming stream, let me know. Thanks for watching and see you later.